Hi everyone and welcome to my video for the Mixed Media Mania. I'm going to show you how to create a transfer using um, acetone. So I have provided you guys with the image that we're going to be using today. The link for the download is down in the comments below. What you're going to do is you're going to take the acetone with a paintbrush and paint over your image. And you could see in the video that the image will show through our paper. And you want to go over this with the acetone just a few times to make sure that ink is transferred to the paper. Now, the ink that was used on the paper was a laser printed image. You could try with inkjet, but I know for a fact that laser printing will work perfectly. Next, for my next step, I'm going to use some of the Dilutions paints. I love that they're thin enough to where you could still see your transferred image through the paints. I'm just doing a quick swatch of a couple of colors. Now the colors that I'm using on the page are the um, squeezed orange, camp so teal, and polished jade. Those are the three colors you'll see in the video. I'm just doing a swatch of each color just to add some variation. We're going to be layering um, them on top of each other so you have more variety of color. And I'm just going to go through that pretty much over our image and we'll be able to come back over uh, the paint later on with a pen to kind of highlight our transferred image a little further. So you're just going to go ahead and blend that out until you have the nice, um, a nice mix of color. Of course you can use your own color mixes and blends that uh, fit more of your style. And once you have all of these paints down, you want to make sure that you dry them really well. Now, if you did not know already, Ranger is actually one of our great sponsors and they have um, some prizes available for you um, to win. So make sure that you go to each video and comment and subscribe to each channel for a chance to win some of these great prizes. So I'm going to continue going through with these colors. I'm spreading them on thinly so I can still see my image that I can outline. And once again, once you have your colors down, go ahead and dry this completely. That way you can go to the next step. Now I'm going to take a liner pen and outline all of my image. You can still see my lines that I transferred earlier. And I'm just going to go ahead and outline each one of these until the image is finished. While I'm outlining this, I wanted to go over some of the great prizes that are included in the giveaway. We have a $35 prize pack from 7 Dot Studio. We have a $25 gift card from AALL and Create, All and Create. Amazing Casting Products has generously donated clear resin and amazing mold putty. Those are such fun products to work with. Blitzy has given a $50 gift certificate to win. Canvas Corp Brands has a prize pack of seven Gypsies Canvas Corp Tattered Angels products for you to win as well. Carbella Studio has a prize pack. Deco Art has a Deco Art Media Starter Kit. That is going to be so fun to play with. Gel Press has a pack of petite printing plates style B for you to win. We have Marabou who has two prize packs valued at $50 each. And then we have Ranger Inc. who has a prize pack, which you've seen some of their great products in this video. And you'll see some of Marabou's here in a moment as well. You also have Thermoweb who has provided a $25 gift certificate. And also Umwow Studios has a winner's choice of digital downloads for every stop of the blog or of the video hop. You also have Viva Las Vegas stamps. It has a $10 grab bag of unmounted rubber stamps for every stop as well. So make sure you comment. And when you do comment, make sure you put your um, country of origin in your comments so that we know if you're eligible for each one because some of these have some limits on where they can ship. So make sure that you leave your comment and your country of origin when you leave your comments. So. As you can see, we have a great lineup of artists and companies that have, I mean, product galore for you to win. So make sure that you go through our entire hop 
for a chance to win all of those great prizes. Now I'm almost done with all of our outline. Once you're done with the outline, you can go ahead and bring out some other colors of your um, pens if you want to. If you have paint pens, we're going to be using a white paint pen. It's actually one of the jelly roll pens. We're going to be using some of the Marabou Art crayons as well as some of the Ranger Tim Holtz Distress crayons. So grab those and you can add to the layers. Now what I'm doing here is I'm taking another hard sponge and I'm going to blend some of the black art crayon right around the edge of our outline. I want to add a little more contrast from our background to our foreground which is the face and I'm just going to slightly blend that art crayon out a little bit. Now here in a little while I'm going to bring in a watercolor or watercolor brush and a little bit of water and I'm going to blend that out a little further but I want to get some color down onto our background first. So we're going to go ahead and blend that out. Now the great part about these art crayons is you can blend them dry or you can blend them wet so they're water soluble. Same with the Distress crayons, they are water soluble but they will dry permanent which is awesome. So you can kind of mix and match both of those products if you like to blend more colors if you want to add one on top of the other. They're both water soluble so they will react well with each other. I'm going to go ahead and grab my brush and I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. And I'm going to blend out this black just a little bit further to make it more watercolor. Um, make it look more like a watercolor instead of a smudged stick. It almost looks like an oil pastel smudge stick instead of um, soft and flowy how I wanted it. So I'm bringing in a little bit of water with my paintbrush. Now I came in a little bit close on the nose, so what I could do now is I can push back that color just a little bit, which is really nice. But once I dry this, it'll be permanent and I can add other colors on top of it if I wanted to. So we're just going to continue all the way around the edge of the face and image with the black, with a little bit of water, and spread that out just a little bit around the edges. You could even pull it up off of the stick if you wanted to, and a lighter image or a lighter color choice instead of straight onto the background. But I like how it's a little bit darker, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit more straight onto the paper. And because we're working on top of the acrylic paint, it's going to blend out nice and smoothly because we're not going into the texture of that paper. We're gliding on top of the texture of the acrylic paint, which is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this all the way around. And I'm going to speed this up so that you guys aren't sitting there watching me blend black paint all the way around. So once we're finished, we're going to go ahead and dry this layer and then we'll move on to the next step. Now I've made it all the way around the image with our black art crayon. I'm going to come in with my white jelly roll pen. Now you can use any white pen or marker that you have. And I'm just going to add some accents onto the darker color. I love that pop of white against our darker background. I'm going to color in some of our, these were actually a succulent, but I'm going to make them look like pearls with the white. 
uh, just a nice bright color. You can use another color that's really nice contrast against it as well. You can bring in fluorescence if you wanted to or neon colors. I'm really into neon lately. I don't know why. But you're going to go ahead and add some of those accents to the image. You can add it to the flowers. You could do whatever you like with it. I'm also going to add a little bit of an accent to the face as well. So I'm going to bring in that white, same white pin, and I'm going to bring around the edge. I might soften some of that color a little bit, and that again will add even more contrast be between our foreground and our background. So I'm going to soften some color around her nose. I'll add some harder highlights also on top of those, just to kind of add a little variation to her face which is really fun. And the great part about the transfer is you don't have to know how to draw to get a nice little profile like we have here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of white here and there, just on top of the smudged areas to even add a little bit more contrast. And then once that's done, we can come in with more of our art crayon or our distress crayons and add color to our florals. So it may be a subtle contrast, but we're adding texture to our page. It may not translate very well over the video, but once you have it on top of the paint, it's gonna add just that little extra touch of texture to your colors to add vibrancy and kind of more eye appeal to your page. So I'm adding a little bit of the teal, that was Peacock Feathers, on top of our original background. I'm also going to go ahead and add a little bit of the orange, which is the spiced marmalade to some of our flowers up the side of her face. Now you can add different colors if you wanted to. I like that the orange and the distress crayons don't um, kind of overpower my black line work. So that's another advantage of the distress crayons is you can kind of go over your line work and you're not going to, you know, overshadow that or have to come back over with some more marker. So I'm just adding a little color here and there just to add a pop of color. We don't want anything too dramatic because we like, I like the subtlety between the layers. Now if you want something a little more dramatic you can come in with white and then go back over it with your colors if you'd like to. That's totally up to you. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my white pen again and make stars. So as you can see I kind of start with a big focal star. I come in with a little smudge and then another dot of white and then make star bursts off the sides and then add a little bit of stars here and there. I can also come back in with our flower and add a few highlights with our white pen on top of our distress crayons and our paint and it'll add just a nice little edge to some of our petals to make them stand out even further. And you don't have to catch each one, you can just do here and there. I'm going to come back out and add a few more stars. I kind of like just that little design aesthetic onto the background. You can make a large one. I kind of just smudge the pin with my finger and then add a center point to that star. And then I add the trails going outwards. And then add a few more little stars for accents. And with that black shading around the edge of the face, those stars kind of really help pop. Once I'm done with my stars, I'm going to add a little bit more color around the edges just to take a little bit away from that white, bright color. So I'm going to put down some of my art crayon. You can do it on a piece of paper or a palette would be really good. And then I'm going to pull up that color with a wet brush. And I'm going to paint it on like a watercolor onto our background. Now I'm just kind of dulling down the background a little bit. You don't have to do this. You can leave it white and have a higher contrast between our colors and your white background if you like. But this is just another option that you can take using the tools that you already have with you. So I'm going to go ahead and paint around the edges. And once I'm done with the painting around the edges, I can also add just little accents with that same color. So I can just add little dabs or splotches with that nice dark black back or, or black color. And you could see it's very soft and subtle. 
it's not really heavy in color. I'm just adding a little bit of more of an artistic edge to the background, even going over again on top of the original watercolor accents we did on the edge. Okay. Now I can also come back in with the actual art crayon and add heavier splotches of color onto the background also. Now I apologize the bottom got a little bit cut off, but as you can see, I just kind of move around the edge of our main uh, focal point using our little black stick, adding just colors here and there. And you could do this with other colors as well if you wanted to. You can use maybe the colors that we used in the background around the edges also to add extra color. And there you go. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now go ahead and head on over to Jen's channel to see some of her amazing work.